Alright, welcome back guys. Uh, in this video we're going to model out a wind turbine. We're going to put them across our mountain range and uh, it's going to complement our clouds we did in the previous video. So if I look up, we've got two uh, particle effects we created earlier. We've got the main one, the actual the whole clouds that are surrounding the area and engulfing the mountains, which looks really nice. And the second one is uh, some grey clouds which we made as well using our own material. So if I can find one, yeah, there's one, guys. See the cloud. So, right, let's go. Let's get to modeling our turbine. Let's stop this. Um, so, just to show you, I've got a concept image of a turbine. These shapes are quite complicated. There's got a bit of a wing here. Uh, they get thicker in the middle, and they get thinner as they point out. So, and this is the motor. So in Maya, uh, I'm just going to create a cylinder. Um, and just do the basic shape of the pole so make things a bit thinner so let's go to a face mode here I'm just going to get my brush out we can delete these out because we will never see them this hole this pole will be in the ground so we won't don't need them and select all these faces I'm just going to extrude it out Pull it up a bit, extrude it out. Let's frame up on it, <laughs> and that do. It doesn't have to be perfect, so I'm just going to extrude it again in a world mode. And this is going to be our platform. We're going to put our motor on here, so I can delete out these faces straight away. I can just create a little cube or a rectangle in the scene, and snap it to this. Hold down um, Alt and sorry guys C. Uh, if you hold down C you can snap it, middle mouse click it to an object so that's always handy so let's make a little motor shape put it at the top go into a vertex ok so I'm just going to point it out like that so as you can see it kind of goes inwards like that and um, let's make it a bit bigger because it make it to scale okay that'll do for our motor very simple shape so the um, this bit sticking out of the motor so I think the easiest way to do that would be to make another cylinder so let's make another cylinder let's snap it here uh, rotate it 90 degrees in this angle this side So starting off with very, very primitive objects and then making them uh, more detailed. Very simple way of doing things. I think that will be alright. Probably easier to go into another view if we can find it. Ok, that looks fine. And uh, this view. Alright, that looks alright. So, if anything we can bring it in. I'm going to go to a face and get the brush tool again, select all these faces and again I'm just going to extrude so to begin with I'm going to scale it in a little bit and then do the same thing again scale it in a bit more and one more time as well so the basic shape uh, we can select all these edges and smooth them out if you like normals soften edge so it looks a bit nicer right let's model the actual um, turbine so uh, let's start off with a rectangle actually so let's just create another rectangle snap it again okay so there's going to be three of these so let's have a look at our reference image so it kind of goes down like that so if anything it needs to be like that um, edit mesh, let's put a, uh, insert a couple of edge loops alright guys um, go back into a vertex mode I'm actually going to move these closer together if I can so it kind of points out here gets a bit thinner Okay, and this one can go here. 
uh, might need another one. Pull these in a bit. Let's just pull these in like that. Let's have a double check. So it kind of, yeah, kind of goes like that. So could go down a bit. Okay, what's next? So they kind of get thinner as they go along. Let's have a check again. All right, we need another edge loop, guys. So this side, I'm just gonna. Oops. Right, so I need to get these edges. I deselect all of them first, and they kind of stick out a bit like that. So let's do that. And as they get further down, it comes back in again. So okay, and um, right at the bottom of the turbine, if I can select that one as well, <laughs> okay, thins out like that. So as we get further in, it gets a little bit thicker. It gets thicker here, doesn't it? And then it kind of thins out again. Okay, so that looks all right. Uh, is there anything else? This bit kind of starts off thick and then gets thinner as well, so gets thinner, thinner. So, uh, all right, I think that'll be all right, actually, guys, for this little turbine. Uh, looks pretty nice. What I'm going to do now? Go to an object. Is it to scale? Maybe. So there's going to be one joining onto this. I'm going to go into this view and I'm going to put the pivot point right to the center of the the motor. So, whoops, let's select it again. Um, so this is a nice trick. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to duplicate this and uh, just rotate it like that. So, duplicate it again. Boom. So. Here we go. We can name this to. Uh, right, what are we going to do next? I think that looks alright. I think that's okay for a turbine. If anything, this bit might be sticking out a little bit mu too much. Let's put it in a bit, maybe. The actual turbines look okay. So when we get back into Unity, I want to. Right, I want to combine these four objects, if I can. Uh, mesh combine. I'm actually going to name this turbines. Um, we can name this motor, and we can name this uh, I don't know pole. <laughs> All right. So this is our wind turbine, guys. It looks quite nice. Um, feel free to fiddle about with it, make it a bit better if you like. Like bevel out these edges and stuff, put a texture with it. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to select all these, actually. I'm a bit fussy. I don't think it's tall enough. Um, move the pivot point up. By the way, guys, hold D if you want to do that. So let's move it up a bit and um, go into this view and just move them up. Okay, so that looks all right. I think nice bit of detail. Um, all right, let's select all this. File export selection. Let's go to our project. In our models, we can put turbine. It's an FBX. Yep, that's good. Export. So if we go back to Unity, um, we've got our turbine. So how big is it? It's kind of good. It's it's to scale kind of I think. So let's just rotate it around the y-axis. Oops, 180 degrees. I want to change the materials. Um, I just want to make it a white color. Turbine, turbines. Let's say turbine. Uh, yeah, just a white diffuse. Look all right, I reckon. So let's just place it on the free objects. And um, yeah, I press spacebar, guys. You can maximize the whole area. Go into a Y, and let's just kind of put them where you want to put it. So back into a thing and uh, yeah that looks alright 
as you can see we've got some shadows coming along so I want one there I'm actually going to create a prefab let's call it turbine there it is, let's stick it in there so duplicate it duplicate it again this one can go right here okay that'll do I'm going to make two more and uh, put them the other side but keep them in the right direction because the wind's blowing from that direction plonk it in the ground um, select this turbine okay that'll do, let's just check it out for a sec yeah that looks pretty good I think looks pretty nice merging into the uh, clouds so the last thing I want to do is make a script actually I'll do it in the next video guys uh, sum it up in the next video I don't I don't want you to wait for mono develop to load for ages so uh, I hope you've learned something in this video guys um, modeling out a turbine is not that hard you might want to tweak it out make it a bit longer etc but um, that's the general gist of things so hopefully see you in the next video guys thanks for watching